we're going to be measuring with a metric ruler today. In science, we're always going to use a metric system. We measure length, width, height in meters, centimeters, or, mil or millimeters. Uh, we measure mass in grams or milligrams. We measure um, volume in liters or milliliters. Okay. This particular ruler doesn't show the millimeters, which would be the little lines in between. This shows the whole numbers. All the whole numbers on a ruler are going to be the centimeters. So in this particular case, we're looking at 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters. Okay. In this particular case, we're looking at 1 centimeter. Okay. So now we're going to look, we're going to make it a little bit harder. Okay. Now this is adding um, the halfway line between, if you see here, so uh, the halfway lines in between, in between the 1 and the 2, this would be 0.5. Um, like when we were looking on the triple beam balance, uh, the halfway in between is, is 0.5. Okay, so we have, in this particular case, is between the 11 and 12. So it's 11.5 centimeters, or we would say 115 millimeters, and we'll get into that later. So 11.5 uh, centimeters, okay? And by the way, this is on FunBrain. So if you go to funbrain.com forward slash measurements, um, it, you can play this game as well. Okay, so 11.5, 11 11.50, 11.5. This one is 12 centimeters. Okay, this one's 7 centimeters. They're giving us easy ones. Okay, here we go. It's halfway in between and the 8 and 9. Halfway in between is 8.5 centimeters. Okay. Okay, and here's the harder one. With this one, you have 10 little slash marks in between, okay? Um, this particular one, the red line is just before this long line for the whole number of 14. So it's 13.9 centimeters. Okay, this one, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to tell. Uh, since we're reading this in between. But look, you can see where it's between the 10 and 11, so we know the whole number is a 10. Here's the 5, the halfway in between, the 0.5. So we know it's going to be between 0.5 and, and 9. Okay, 6, 7. So 10.7 centimeters. Okay. This one just before that halfway mark. So I would call this 6.4 centimeters. Notice on the end, they put, they're putting the like 11.10, uh, 11.70, 11.50. You really don't have to add this extra zero. They're just trying to be consistent. They're trying to make them all look the same. Um, Unless we ask you to go out two places, there's you don't have to really put that zero there. Okay, this particular one we get 11. Point, I'm gonna call that one centimeter. Okay, all right. Now it's important to know again that these numbers the one, two, three, four, the whole numbers that you see here, the numbers that you see listed on a metric ruler. Those are the centimeters. Seems like every time we have a test, some student raises her hand whenever a question asks for how many millimeters is in something. Someone will always raise their hand and say, I can't tell how many millimeters this is because I don't have a millimeter ruler. I only have a centimeter ruler. Okay, you do have, you can read the millimeters with the centimeter ruler because the millimeters are in between. There's 10 millimeters and one centimeter. 
Okay, so um, it makes it easy because all you have to do to convert centimeters into millimeters is move the decimal point over one place. So for instance, if we were talking about 11.8 centimeters and you wanted to convert that into millimeters, all you do is move this decimal point over one space over here and it's 118 millimeters. If we wanted to know how many millimeters are in 11.20 centimeters, we would move it over one decimal point and it's 112 centimeters. Okay, in this particular one, it's under it's 11.0 is what you would actually have if we if we were going to include the decimal point and make them all the same it'd be 11.0 so what you do is you would move the decimal point over one and it'd be 110 millimeters okay this one 11.4 centimeters or bring your decimal point over one 114 millimeters okay all right Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's see if we can do another one. We're going to do the hard centimeters right here. Okay. This one is looking at, it looks like it's right at seven centimeters. Seven centimeters, or we would call this, remember, it, it, you pretend that it's, it's point zero because uh, if there's nothing over here, it's, it is zero, so point zero. So you're going to bring the decimal point over one and make it 70 millimeters or seven centimeters, okay? So seven centimeters, okay? This one, it's halfway in between the one and the two, so 1.5 centimeters, or we're going to bring the decimal point over one. 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters. Okay. Go ahead and click on that. Now we are on this one. It's uh, between the 13 and the 14. Looks like it's 13.6. Mm, no, it's 13.5. It looks like 6 from here to me. Uh, so 13.5 or we'd bring this over 135 millimeters. Okay, if you're reading these, let's look at these. If you're going to convert these centimeters into millimeters, again, just move it over. So you would have 1.4 centimeters is 14 millimeters. 1.8 centimeters is 18 millimeters. 1.2 centimeters is 12 millimeters. And 1 centimeter Remember, pretend there's a point zero here. You bring it over one, add a zero, 10 millimeters is one centimeter. Okay? In this particular case, it looks like it is 10, uh, let's see, one point, uh, what do you call it? Eight, 1.8 centimeters. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, for your homework, I'd like for you to number one two and three and I'm gonna have you record your answers this is question number one okay how many centimeters is this ruler showing this is question number one I want you to record this in centimeters and then next to it I want you to record it in millimeters remember move your decimal over one place and tell me how many millimeters Okay, question number two. How many centimeters? And next to how many centimeters, I want you to convert it into millimeters. This is question number two. All right, and finally, question number three. How many centimeters is showing on this ruler? How many centimeters? and next to it convert it into millimeters okay and for a bonus there was a mistake that was made during this while I was making this video there was a mistake that was made where is that mistake it has something to do with centimeters versus millimeters 
See if you can find that mistake. All right. And as always, if you have any questions, record them in your science journal and ask me in the morning. Have a good night.